Well, hello, Crafty Nistas. I recently had my first visit to Ikea. And as far as footage, it was a fail because my eyes were so gleaming trying to take in everything that I really didn't have the camera on record when I thought I did. So this is just the entrance of Ikea. And just to give you a little bit preview that I did and I was there. Um, just looking around at how they have everything sectioned off. Um, I was available, to, able to go on the weekend and I, if I ever go again and I have that availability, I would definitely go um, during the weekday. It was just so many people there and it was hard to navigate around, but I am glad that I did get the experience and did pick up a few products. Um, but I would love to go again and this is just a little tour of what I did see, what I did capture. So. Hope you enjoy this a little bit. Okay, so I am back home and I am looking at what I purchased from Ikea. I purchased this panda. Um, all the little stuffed animals were $14.99 and this little panda was $5. And my daughter just squeezed it and so I had to go home with us. Um, so this was cute for $5. And then I found this little abacus set. Um, I thought this would be good for learning. This was originally $9.99 and they had this half off. So this was $4.99. I thought this was cute and fun with the colors. So I picked this up. Then um, the one thing I did get in the video was this lamp. Um, I did purchased this I thought that it was um, pretty flexible and bendy and this would be good at my craft desk um, so I'm going to try this out and I purchased this lamp they did have this and I know they had it in black so I'm not sure what other colors they did but I did get that ivory white color then I've been wanting um, a mannequin um, so I found this I didn't want to pay a lot of money for one I have an idea for a project coming up around holiday time and um, I purchased this this is a little sheet that goes over the mannequin for the top part and then this was only five dollars and I'm not gonna pull it out right now but as you can see here it's just um, the sheath because I didn't want to spend much money on it like I said I'm just gonna use it around holiday time so far and then this went with it and this is pretty heavy um, but it's the base there um, that you hang that part off of and then the base there this was $14.99 so with this and this it was $19.99 for a mannequin which isn't bad um, so especially since I'm not doing any sewing or anything that I would need it all year round so I jumped on that. And then the main thing that I was looking for is a hack for stamping. And I bought two of them just in case. But it's the picture frame called Hemming's Bow. Um, and this is 8.5 by 11. And it has a hinge on the side. And I was looking for this, went there uh, primarily looking for this frame. So I was going to try this out and make this into a stamp positioning um, tool. There's a lot of them that are coming out that have been out. And um, uh, instead of getting into the money wars or trying to figure out um, for right now, I just want to hack my own, do a DIY on it. So, But this was $4.99. So I ended up picking up two of them just in case. But I am going to be trying that out. And that's it for my first run. Like I said, I don't live nearby one. And I would be going and getting a lot more things um, if I actually lived by um, and one and didn't have to travel with the items. But this is what I purchased. So thanks for watching, Crafty Nistas.